no matter what you're building, you probably need some kind of RESTful API. Now, you could probably write this yourself, but come on, it's 2023, do you really have to do this from scratch? No, you actually don't. At Tembo, we're proud to be sponsoring um, a pretty cool open source project called Postgres that enables uh, automatic generation of uh, fully fledged RESTful APIs to interface with just about any vanilla Postgres database. And uh, the cool part here is we uh, support using Postgres alongside of any instance on Tembo Cloud. Um, so we're going to get a little bit of a, a demo here. If I head over to the Tembo Cloud UI, um, I'll navigate to a new tab uh, that we have called Apps. And in here, uh, we've got a few options, uh, but I'll click on Postgres. And then obviously, I already have this installed, but um, on your instance, you would want to go and install it. And if I scroll down just a little bit here, I can take a look at the Getting Started Guide. And um, we can start making our first request. So let's say I wanted to take a look at our open API schema. Um, I have this instance pre-configured with an empty table called products. Um, and what we'll do here is I will copy this curl command and I'm going to take a look at our open API schema just via a API request to Postgres, and this is going to hit our this Tembo data domain environment variable that I have set, which is indicated here in the cloud UI. Uh, so if I hit enter, we'll make this request, and I can see uh, my open API schema as JSON. I can take a look at some of the fields, if they're required or not, all of their types, etc. cetera. Uh, and then let's say I wanted to go insert some data into this table, because uh, there is obviously no data yet. Uh, again, via Postgres, I can do this over HTTP. Uh, and basically what I'll do here is I'll do a post request to REST API forward slash v1 forward slash products, and I'll send a JSON body with an array of two products. Uh, so I'll hit enter and then boom. Uh, so now that data was inserted and I can go and take a look at that data via a get request uh, to that same endpoint. So last time we, we did post, this time we'll do get. So let's see what we get. Uh, boom, so now we get all of those products. Uh, and then let's say I wanted to do a, a little bit more of a complex um, query. I could go and do another get request and I could say, um, let's say I, I want to get all the products but filter them by um, a unit price that is less than two. Um, I can use a query param in my endpoint and I can say less than two and I'll hit enter and then I get an array um, uh, in JSON uh, and it looks like we've got two products that had a unit price of 0.75. Um, so that is Postgres uh, running next to a instance in Tembo Cloud. As I said, we um, enable this for uh, just about every uh, instance that you can go and deploy. Um, so if you want to go give this a try for yourself, you can go to cloud.tembo.io and uh, let us know what you think.